you and the professor before referred uh, to yourselves as proponents of multiculturalism. That to me mm, kind of begs the question, what are the, the moral imperatives behind this um, mission almost? On, on the, the moral impulse behind multiculturalism, the, uh, there's, there's lots of things to say about that, but um, one quick way to put it is that um, we, we, ha we live in a world which um, for the past 200 years, let's say, if not more, has been constructed, um, uh, has been defined by um, ideas of racial and ethnic hierarchy. So this is what this is what underpinned colonialism. Uh, it's what underpinned the the colonization of the Americas. Um, it's what underpinned racially discriminatory admissions policy about who was admitted into the U.S. and Canada. It underpinned racially discriminatory laws about who was eligible for citizenship. I could go on. You know all of this, right? That, that up until really up until the 1960s, it was accepted. It was a widely accepted feature of Western societies that, that uh, there were racial hierarchies and that that was reflected in both foreign policy and domestic policy. Um, and we have uh, committed ourselves to the idea that we, we believe in racial equality, but, but we live in a, in a world globally as well as domestically which, uh, in which we've inherited structures that were initially created and defined on the basis of ideologies of, of hierarchy and supremacy. And so I think we have, um, so, I mean, and so we're all familiar with some of, the, some of the movements to contest those hierarchies. So um, various civil rights strategies, anti-discrimination strategies, and affirmative action strategies, and so on. But I, I think that multiculturalism has to be understood. I, I think that the rise of indigenous rights is part of this. The, the rise of anti-discrimination policy is part of this. But so too is is multiculturalism, uh, and 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 by the way, I, I would I would extend it even farther. I, I would say that that um, these these mobilizations by ethnic and racial and indigenous groups since the 1960s are also linked with, for example, the rise of the second wave feminism, gay rights, disability rights. All of these. Uh, Movements, which which basically arose in the same time, these are all kind of 1960s and forward movements, um, are all I think best understood as contesting inherited hierarchies, it, it, and inherited hierarchies which define certain people as um, less capable of governing themselves, less deserving of participating in shared governance, and were therefore ruled through essentially coercion and paternalism. So all of these relations between, between dominant and subordinate racial groups, religious groups, ability, disability, men, women, uh, uh, they, they were historically governed and structured through, through coercion and paternalism. And all of these movements, I think, are trying to replace those hierarchies and those practices of coercion and paternalism with, with new relationships, new social and political relationships, which are based on equality, or based on participation, based on, on, on cooperation, uh, rather than coercion and paternalism. And th th what, what exactly that means is gonna take different forms. So this is why multiculturalism is a kind of complicated phenomenon. It's, it's gonna mean a different thing for indigenous peoples than it does for the Quebecois, than it does for African Americans, or than it does for uh, 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 other more recent immigrant groups or refugees groups, but so the, the form it takes varies. But I think the impulse, the moral impulse, has to be understood as part of this larger. I, I, I think the world has changed since the 1960s. I think we have gone through a rights revolution, which is which has discredited and delegitimized these earlier ideologies of hierarchy and supremacy, and we're still working our way through what's what's the alternative to it. And multiculturalism, I think, is helping us to work our way through it. <laughs>